following illustration comes from a tile project. The walls in this residential bathroom are flattened out to be able to lay out the tile pattern and estimate the number of tiles needed. You can save a lot of work by taking advantage of the symmetry between the left and right walls. All you need to do is create the tiles on one wall and then mirror the wall across the center of the room. In the example below, you start the mirror command or enter MI in the command window. Use the window selection, 1 and 2, to select the geometry on the right wall, and then specify a mirror line, 3 and 4, corresponding to the center line of the bathroom. Finally, decline the option to erase source objects by pressing Enter or the spacebar. Tip: Always look for symmetry to save yourself extra work, even if the symmetry is not 100% identical. You can stretch most geometric objects. This lets you lengthen and shorten parts of your model. For example, this model might be a gasket or the design for a public park. Use the stretch command or enter S in the command window and select the objects with a crossing selection. The crossing selection is mandatory. Only the geometry that is crossed by the crossing selection is stretched. Then click anywhere in the drawing area move the cursor to the right, and enter 50 as the distance. This distance might represent millimeters or feet. To shorten the model by a specified amount, you'd move your cursor to the left instead. The fillet command, enter F in the command window, creates a rounded corner by creating an arc that is tangent to two selected objects. Notice that the fillet is created relative to where you select the objects. You can create a fillet between most types of geometric objects, including lines, arcs, and polyline segments. The explode command, enter X in the command window, disassociates a compound object into its component parts. You can explode objects such as polylines, hatches, and blocks or symbols. After you explode a compound object, you can modify each resulting individual object. You can choose from several useful options when you want to modify a polyline. The pEdit command, enter PE in the command window, is located on the drop down list of the Modify panel. With this command, you can join two polylines into a single polyline if they share a common endpoint, convert lines and arcs into a polyline, change the width of a polyline. Grips are displayed when you select an object without starting a command. Grips are often handy for light editing. For example, the line below accidentally snapped to the wrong endpoint. You can select the misaligned line, click on a grip, and then click to specify the correct location.